Now let's go and look at some other functions, namely analytical functions and some additional miscellaneous grouping functions. Ranking. We've already seen ranking before. Let's take a look at an example. Let's go and find the rank of the value 200 within the ticket table ordered by the price in descending order. So the rank for 200 is the value 7,551. Now let's try to prove that the rank for 200 we found is actually correct. First of all, count the number of rows in the ticket table. We get a count of 276,750 rows in the ticket table. Now select the maximum price value from the ticket table. The maximum price value is 390. Now I'm going to select the rank of the maximum value, 390, from the ticket table. I get a value of 275,851. So how do we prove what rank is actually doing? The total number of rows is 276,750. The rank of the maximum price is 275,851 which is slightly less than the count of number of rows. If I take the two queries for the number of rows in the ticket table and the rank for the maximum value and execute it, I get a difference between the two of 899. What does that tell me? It tells me that the value 275,851 subtracted from 276,750 so let's say 276,750 less 275,851 from dual to get the result is 899 rows what we should find is that the count from the ticket table where the price is equal to 390 should be and is 900 rows. If I take one off that, I get 899. Back to the ranking functions. All the ranking functions. Ranking functions are rank, dense rank, and percent rank. As we know, the rank function finds the rank of a value within a group or set of values. Dense rank finds the rank of a value within a sorted group of rows, and percent rank is a cumulative distribution ranking type of function. The only one we're interested in at the moment is rank. What do they do? This is how the rank function is used syntactically takes an expression, is executed within the group, and can be ordered by an expression. The grouping functions, as applied in the roll-up and queue clauses of the group by clause. All the grouping functions are, namely, group ID, grouping, and grouping ID. Group ID does filtering, grouping distinguishes between groups, and grouping ID searches for a grouping level.